So protein bars can be a really easy and convenient way to add in more protein into your daily life. And if you've watched my video on how important protein is, you already know that most women need to be eating more protein for better health and better nutrition and even weight loss if you're interested in that. But just because a protein bar is easy and convenient and the label on the protein bar even looks healthy, doesn't mean that it's necessarily a healthy option and a good choice. Honestly, some protein bars out there, a lot of them actually, are pretty much just glorified candy bars. And while others do give you a good amount of protein, they also come at a cost with all this added sugar, added hydrogenated oils, and a bunch of added chemicals. So in today's video, I'm going to cover what to look for in a good protein bar, what to look out for in a bad protein bar, and how to basically make protein bars work for your healthy lifestyle so that you're educated the next time you go to the grocery store. So let's get started. So you know me, I'm all about clean eating, whole foods, unrefined foods and all of that. So in general, I'm very wary if I'm gonna have something that's pre-packaged. Because right off the bat, I know that it's likely gonna contain additional processing versus if I just made it from home. And you know, even the healthiest protein bars still contain processing and still are made in a way so that they stay shelf stable at the grocery store for weeks and weeks, even months. That being said, there are some guidelines for how to choose a better for you protein bar. At a high level, you wanna take a quick glance at the nutrition label and you want to see how many calories are in this bar. Just because it's high in calories does not mean that it's bad for you. But you want to pay attention to, and I'm going to show you how to do it, to what is making up those calories. Is it mostly carbs? Is it mostly protein? Is it mostly fats? And there's some tricks to kind of see what is making that up. So a good bar should have a minimum of 8 grams of protein for the entire bar. If you have less than 8 grams of protein, it's more like an energy bar than a protein bar, which is a fine option for energy, but if you are looking to get protein as a snack, then you definitely wanna make sure you're getting more than eight grams of protein. And for that protein, high up in the ingredients list, you're gonna to wanna to look for ingredients like whey protein, pea protein, nuts, nut butters, and other foods that you know right off the bat, okay, those seem reasonable that that is a good way to get that protein. You're also gonna to wanna to be paying attention to the amount of fiber in the bar and make sure that the entire bar contains a minimum of three grams of fiber. And the sugar content for your protein bar should also be relatively low. You should have a maximum of 10 grams of sugar in the bar, and that is a combination of added sweeteners and regular just total sugar. And those sugars should come from naturally occurring sweeteners, things like dried fruit and honey and pure maple syrup. Even if it sounds organic and good, like organic brown rice syrup, organic honey, organic cane sugar, organic agave syrup. If you have just like a lot of those in the list, it's probably way too sweet. And it's probably probably already over that 10 grams of sugar anyway. So now let's talk about definite things to avoid if you can when you're looking for a good protein bar. If the bar contains any trans fats, that's a giveaway that it's probably not the best choice. And if the ingredient list contains like palm oil or kernel oil, you know that there's gonna be some partially hydrogenated oils in there and we want to avoid those if we can. You're most likely gonna find those types of oils on the protein bars that are coated in chocolate as well. If the ingredient list contains any high fructose corn syrup or corn syrup in any way, that is another giveaway that there's some pretty processed sugars in there and to avoid it. And then when you look at the ingredient list, you wanna make sure that the first ingredient or even the first like three to four ingredients are not sugars. And specifically, if it says some sort of sugar or sucrose in those first few ingredients, that's gonna show you that the majority of this bar is just sugar. And that's not what we're looking for either. In the ingredients list, if you see some sugar alcohols like xylitol, sorbitol, or malitol, that is an indication that the bar that you're gonna buy could cause some gastric distress and some bloating. And you kind of find the best options that you can based off of these guidelines, you're gonna find a good, healthy, high quality protein bar for you. And it's also gonna help you eliminate a lot of the extra noise and junk out there that really isn't doing anything for your health. And once you start looking at them and you start assessing what's in each of these bars, I think you're gonna be pretty shocked at how much sugar and added processing is in so many of these health bars out there. So I don't usually have a protein bar every day. I feel like they are better as a quick snack to use if you're in a pinch or say you're on a road trip and you need some sustenance. I feel like those are really good times for protein bars. Most of the time I would recommend choosing something that isn't a processed food. If you have a second to have a hard boiled egg or some raw nuts or some full fat Greek yogurt or even some beef jerky that isn't super sugary. These are all good options for getting protein in and even a good healthy protein powder is also a good way to add that to your smoothies in the morning or whenever you have smoothies. So when I buy protein, 
protein bars at the store, I usually get an RX bar because they meet most of the qualifications of what I've mentioned already. They typically contain about five grams of fiber, 12-ish grams of protein, and they have very minimal ingredients. Kind protein bars, these are a little bit higher in the saturated fat because they do contain nut butters, but they're also high in protein and fiber. Go Macro Macro bars are a good vegan protein option. They have pretty minimal ingredients and all of their ingredients are naturally occurring. And they use a combination of pea protein and brown rice protein, which are good sources of protein. Plus you also get good healthy fats from the nut butters, the flax seeds, and cashews. Another option is to completely get away from the chocolate and sweetened type of protein bar and go for a meat-based protein bar. A couple options for those are Epic bars and Mighty Bar grass-fed organic beef. And these are also usually in the protein bar section. They are much lower in calories because you're not adding all that extra sugar and carbohydrates. For these types, you're gonna wanna look for are they grass-fed and do they have a lot of added salt in there? But those are also another great way to get some protein. And I'm sure there's more out there that I just haven't come across. So feel free to share in the comments below what your favorite ones are and I'll check them out. Watch my video on why you need to be eating more protein and I will see you in the next video.